I don't know if I did it justice or not. Y'all, this does look pretty on me. I'm not gonna hold you. Hey, Shannon. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Wig Types. They were kind enough to send me another unit to review for you guys. Now, as always, before we get into the install of the specs and what I think about the unit straight out the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. This unit comes to us from wig types. It comes brand new from Sensational. This is from the Cloud9 Swiss Lace Collection. Um, I initially thought this was part of the What Lace Collection, but it's not. There's no What Lace anywhere on here. Kai, read the cards, read the cards. Every time I see Swiss Lace, I always wanna say What Lace, but no. This is a butterfly lock unit in 30 inches, and I got it in the color SM1B slash burgundy. This unit does come with lace from ear to ear, as well as a four by four lace parting area here in the middle. Two combs on the side, one comb in the back, and the adjustable straps. It also has an attached elastic band, so if you wanna wear this unit glueless, you can do that. Now for my big old dome at 23 inches, this cap is fitting down pretty perfect. However, I did spray her down around the front here, just to give her some more security. I probably should have taken the elastic band off because I'm feeling the pulsation <laughs> right around my temples and you guys know I got about 30 minutes before I snatch this wig off my head okay I can't I can't do the pulsating temples okay I can't I can't so let's go ahead and keep this going okay now this unit does have HD lace and I will say it did take my product fairly well I did use my foundation powder under the lace and then I used my excess foundation and contour shade on top of the lace um, and it did blend down pretty well I also utilized some of the baby hairs okay just to give me a little super around the hairline because the hairline is not giving me as natural as I think sensational thought it was going to give me okay um it's sitting real kind of <laughs> You know, I like sharp edges, but not really on my hairline. You know, I needed to have more of a, a natural look. I tried to do what I could with the baby hairs, um, because I didn't want to have a whole bunch of baby hairs around my hairline. That screams fake to a lot of people. Um, so I tried to swoop them back into the hairline to kind of, you know, break it up a little bit, as well as use my products to kind of, you know, chuck through the hairline to kind of give it some dimension. I don't know if I did it justice or not. We're going to see on the playback, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I was just a little, um... Yeah, the hairline got me. That four by four lace parting space is up in there like this, okay? You do have some like little straight hair down here because the locks do get caught. They get, you know, kind of, you know, tangled together a little bit. So be mindful of that. Also in the back here, you do have some of the strings that, you know, are attached to the unit. And that's pretty common for the braided units because you know, you don't want to show the extra gaps. Now the hair texture is pretty soft. I was a little worried out the pack because it was giving off like a, it looks stiff. Okay, out the pack, it looks stiff. However, touching this joint on my skin, it passes the skin test, no itchy and scratchy. The butterfly locks though are, I don't know what these are. <laughs> 
it gives butterfly with the little wings butterfly lock see how it has, it has the little wings all over the place sensational pretty much took it to heart it's too many butterflies this is like a one two lock one two lock one two lock one two lock it no butterfly locks is like one two lock one two three four lock one two three one two three lock like that's how butterfly <laughs> that's, how, that's how the locks are it's not a uniform you know lock situation here. This is very, very uniform. Same thing that happened with the Zuri Sis unit. Um, I felt like they were way too uniform. They look exactly like this. Y'all using the same machines? So it's not really giving me the butterfly lock look that I would like. Also, in the Zuri Sis video that I did, I said the locks were too big for that unit. If they would have thinned it out a little bit and gave us the same amount of locks, I think it would have made the unit look a little bit flatter and not as poofy. Next time, I'm going to shut my mouth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they gave us extra thin locks, okay? These are real thin, but they kept the same amount of locks on the unit as if these were thicker. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all see these gaps in the back? Ooh, be careful, okay? Be careful. All the locks are on the first half of the unit. It's like the back was like an afterthought. And I'm really... Ooh, I'm really bummed about that because I was really rooting for you, Sensational, okay? I was really rooting for you because this unit just, I was so excited because it had a burgundy. I wanted to try the burgundy locks. And y'all, this does look pretty on me. I'm not gonna hold you, hey Shannon. But the cap construction, you gotta work on that, okay? Work, work on it. The four by four, you know, it's okay, it's cool. They even gave us the extra lace here on the side so it's not, you know, like a closure look or whatever. The color I'm here for, the locks, I'm all, you know, I'm, all, I'm on the fence with, but the gaps, okay? Normally, I don't care about the gaps. I understand the gaps. I understand why there's so many gaps, but at least make them even. Like, it's, it's huge gaps in the back of this joint, and I don't like that at all. Now, don't get me wrong, this will still give you a look. I mean, <laughs> hello? However, come you want to finagle some things on the unit to make her, you know, wearable outside the house, okay? After the pitches. What? Listen. Do you see mommy working? Huh? Do you see me working? Okay. Get out of here. Okay, the hairline gonna need some work in order to be, you know, I need some space up in here. I need some space. Okay, but listen, I'm still gonna give the looks, okay? We still gonna give the looks, because guess what? We don't waste coin, okay? We don't waste coin around here. So if you were looking for a butterfly lock unit in this length, 30 inches, this may be a contender for you. It does cost about $104, okay? So just be mindful of that. Before you go dibbling and dabbling in your own purse strings, you may have to call up your bae and say, you know, can I hold something, okay? Can I hold a little something, something? Let me know what y'all think, okay? Let me know what y'all are thinking. Somebody's gonna come out with the unit, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a banger, okay? It's gonna be a banger. Until then though, we have some options. So Sensational tried their hand at it. This is their entry, okay? So, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's what this is for. It's a fan. It's a fan. Mm -hmm. I'm more off the fence than on the fence, but uh, yeah, I'm still kind of, the burgundy kind of got me together, okay? The burgundy kind of does it and gets me together, okay? So yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> But that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Wake Tights for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link for my unit down below so if you guys want to check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.